Hello everyone. Welcome to your nightly. I didn't upload yesterday because I didn't want to, so I'm sorry. I still love you all. <laughs> Boy, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing quite fine. I gotta work all the way till next Monday. I'm not happy about that. I'm going to work an hour early. But you know, it shouldn't bother me as much as it does, but it's kinda like, you know, I've been going in at 12 since I started this new job, and now I'm gonna come in at 11, like my old job. I don't like that. But it's over time, so I can't bitch. Uh, however, I have found, as of late, y'all, that, um, people are strange, and they do really weird things when you least expect them to. Let that be a mystery in your mind. Who are we reading for? Someone who has a hard time making decisions because they end up crying all the time. <laughs> That's who we're looking at. Uh, like this person keeps digging up holes and onions keep coming out. And hitting them in the face and giving them a reason to cry. It's like if you keep digging for shit, yeah, you're going to find a reason to have some tears. This is how it goes. Anyway. Newcomers, returning visitors, fellow practitioners, and weirdos, and everybody else of the sorts. This is an all signs reading. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away we go. Also, remember, I'm only telling the story. I have no idea who the fuck is doing what. I'm just telling you, everybody's next actions, if you will. Or what would the next thing come to be? Whatever fits you, you place it there and leave the rest with the pound of salt because I have no idea what the fuck anybody is doing. So you just decide. Um, choose your own adventure, if you will. So this queering could be you, it could be a person you're dealing with, or someone just outside your normal circle. Right? Oh, well, we're starting out with a book real quick. Some choices need, it's, god damn, some choices need to be fucking made. Um, physically, on the material plane, and mentally and communicated. Possibly by a king of swords. Most likely Libra. Who is dealing with the options of having an ace of pentacle, but that shit's overwhelming. You know, like, that's a dragon. You know, um... Upright, you know, like the dragon is very useful. The dragon is power. You can, like, the dra you can't control a dragon, but um, the negotiations have this dragon, like, giving you exuberant power. This way, this dragon could fuck you up if it felt like it. You better agree to what the fuck it says. It doesn't give a shit. <laughs> like that's how that dragon comes off to me. Hmm. Crazy tasty. Anyway, so let's see. Queer it. What's your energy as above? You got a happily ever after, brah. Good deal. But below, you still have options. And that showed up earlier. You know, the thoughts and feelings over here are someone's kind of being abused. Not like they're a child and they don't appreciate it. It's like, I'm 40-something years old. Stop screaming at me just because I'm short. Turn than your daughter or whatever, you know? The root of those thoughts and feelings is there's a void that can't be filled, or someone's trying to fill a void and it's just not doing it for them anymore. It's just like, this just this shit leaves me more confused and bewildered than when I started, you know. What's coming up for this Quirit? The Knight of Pentacles, Libra, wait, no. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, my bad. Someone's writing slowly with an offer to separate with the sun reverse. Ew. Is it after the separation or are they talk or are they offering separation? Cuz someone's tired of like having their emotions playing them as a puppet with the mood. Cancer or Pisces energy. The vibration for this Parent, work, 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 work. He's just working himself to death. As per usual. Mm. Mm. 
The Squirt's overall happy with their family, but it's like, there's something back here that has got their attention. Like, uh, I have this happy, picture-go-lucky family, but what is this right here with my other pentacle that's catching my attention? Having to choose what the fuck you're gonna do, right? It's always good to look to the higher self to see what's going on. But at the same time, it's like, what the fuck is this here? You know? In the thoughts and feelings, though, this square does not like how they are treated. One way or another. Like, either they're treating somebody this way, or someone's treating them this way. And that's leaving a voided feeling. It's just like, how do I feel happy when I get nagged at all goddamn day? You know? Like, if, if for stuff that doesn't even matter, you know, like, oh, you don't like shrimp alfredo, or you don't like how the napkins are set up, or I didn't get a fork that, like, was pointy enough for you. Like, really insignificant shit that can be fixed easily, and I feel like this person, um, these thoughts and feelings is like, you know, someone could, could just breathe funny and, like, this bitch would be right on her, you know? That kind of annoys me, I'm just saying. So you might be coming up queer to deliver some news that you're not happy with this bitch over here. You're tired of your emotions getting played with and treated like whatever. Let's see. Queer it. As above with this happiness. Someone's just completely just like, you know what, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> like, this bitch could burn for all I care, but you know what? At least I'm not the one responsible um, in this relationship, right? This person doesn't care what happens in this relationship. They have no control. They don't try to attempt to have control with this Emperor's Shadow side reverse. He's just letting the fire burn there. He's not trying to do anything to put the fire out. It's like, dude, it's going to burn your house down. Oh, it's fine. You know, she'll fix it. I don't have to do a damn thing. <laughs> but I feel like they kind of resent that, too. It's like this person, whoever this chick is, she, t like, this relationship's been going on in the dark for a while, but it's like, she... It's just almost like reaching out to him and being like, you're not doing this. No, 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 no. And someone needs to heal from that whole thing. Or maybe she's... Maybe this relationship was meant to heal somebody on some level. Mm. With this two of pentacles down here, though... You know, someone's definitely feeling trapped and they're recognizing that. Oh, sorry. This goes over here. Which is why they're not possibly giving their love out, you know. Like the Queen of Swords is right here being decisive with what's going to be delivered with the Three of Pentacles. So. Oh, wow, that went so fucking smooth. Huh. Look at me go. Let's see. Yeah, this dude isn't offering his cup up in order to invest in a home situation somewhere. Ah. Alright, so there's ten of cups, right? Up top with the ass above. That ass above. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is like a lose lose situation. Someone's just like. Someone just doesn't care. It's like, they're damned that they do, damned that they don't. So it's just like, oh, well, I might as well just do whatever. It's not going to help me either way. I'm fucked either way. That kind of sucks. Because there's always going to be a third-party situation? Okay, it's like, no matter how much you fight, it's still going to end the same way, Queerant. It's like, you have no control over this... You want to fix your broken heart, but in the end, it's like, no matter how much you fight stuff, you are, um, still fated to this third party breaking up somehow. And I feel like you're worried about being left out in the cold from it. Down below with the two pentacles. Globa <coughs> gut. <coughs> okay. Are we done? We're done. Okay. Alright. Two pentacles down below. Okay, so that ace of pentacles they potentially took, if that's the case. 
or whatever it is they decided to invest in, that became a bug. That became an infection. That became possibly an STD or some virus or disease. It was just like someone had the pentacle in and all of a sudden there was a bug on it. It was just like, oh my god, get it off my hand. You know, like one of those things. He hasn't flicked it yet. He hasn't decided if he wants to put some thread on it and take it for walkies like you do with June bugs. But still, if you've never done that, that is like the most fun thing ever. Just tie it to its leg. It's fun. Like, don't tie it around it because you might choke it to death. But you can get it around its leg? Hell yes. Yeah, that, whatever that bug is, it's just like, mm, you know. Someone got greedy with it too, I feel like, with the queen of pentacles a little bit like not like a nasty bad kind of greedy but like you know there was like a new opportunity or a new fortune here at home and instead they went back out in the fucking garden to get something it's like what are you doing it's like they put their options into the garden and because of that like it grew sure but then like bugs came in and now they gotta pay for pest control eventually they will anyway Maybe they haven't figured out the infestation. We don't know. Alright. Thoughts and feelings. Sexy. Someone feels like they're being scolded like a child. Not in the cool way. Like, they can't get no damn rest, they can't relax. They just want to turn their back to everything in order to get a chance to relax, I feel like. And they are willing to leave. And leave you with an, a complimentary turtle. Just so they can do that. Like, someone's just tired of the shit. It's like the queen of... Like, you know, they want some justice here. You know? you're definitely tired of dealing with a lot of stuff that's been coming up for you, I feel like. Like, oh, shit. Like, someone still hasn't faced the tower that there might be a mistress that's coming out of nowhere, too. You know? And it's like, no matter how hard you try or fight, you're still going to be dealing with this third party situation that leads to a breakup that might have something to do with this fucking mistress, dude. That's the crazy part about it. It's like... You know it's coming. But... Almost like... It, queer, it's almost like because you know it's coming... You're doing everything to halt it. But everything you're doing is feeding into... Um, this coming. Much more quicker than what it's supposed to. It's like... Um, uh, Jesus Christ. It's like that one dude who... Um, Whose grandfather stuck his mom in a cell because, like, you know, there was a prophecy that he was going to kill him and take over his throne. This is Greek mythology. I have I can't remember this. And Zeus managed to turn into a swan light duck or, some, or something and bang the chick. And then she had a son, which was the grandson of the guy who imprisoned his daughter. And she sent her son away to live. And the whole point of doing that was to prevent this fucking kid from being bored and murdering his grandfather, right? So his grandfather put his daughter in the prison. Zeus saw her because she prayed for him, basically. And eventually, she gave birth to a son, which I think he wasn't fucking expecting. And eventually, that son came back after ages and ages of being away. And the grandfather's just like, oh, well, you're definitely not going to do anything. I was wrong. Well, the next summer, apparently there was a game going on. And the grandson was playing in one of the games. And he threw one of those discs things that are supposed to go really far. And that disc went and hit his grandfather and killed him. And he became the heir. It's like crazy self-fulfilling prophecies that way. It's like somebody uh, is... Uh, Causing their own fate to occur. Like, it's like driving the one thing you fear to happen because you're terrified of it happening. I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting from this. And Queer, I think you might be doing this without knowing it. Because you got a void down below and the roots of these thoughts and feelings. You know. 
Um, you want this burden to end, but you're having a hard time trying to decide what your vices and stuff are, you know? Feeling like there's no way forward, really. And with this vibration over here, with this Eight of Pentacles, where you're working tirelessly to get somewhere. Um, you're kind of tempting the lion, ain't you? Like, fucking with it just a little bit too hard. Not too terribly hard where you lose a hand, but still it's like, you're not a real cop, you know? Um, but, you know, I mean, you're working real hard, stretching out a, mouth, a lion's mouth, yet yeah, you're possibly sitting here expecting other people to come up with plans just in case the lion mauls you, like they do in zoos. Like, get out of the zoo box or whatever it's called, cage, um, area, their fucking house, I don't know. Quit going in their cages, that's ridiculous, I just have to say. Anyway, but this is kind of what it is, it's like someone's going in tempting a lion, fucking with a lion, when it's clearly minding its own business. Whether she has more strength in it, I don't fucking know. But still, why you, why you gotta mess with its mouth? It ain't got nothing in there, you can see that. Yet, this person also expects other people to do things for them. Which I find very fucking strange. Okay. Well, first off, there was a relationship here at the lover's card, right? Something that needed to be resurrected, I feel like, or something that was regularly resurrected. Because this does feel like an on-again, off-again relationship, or an open relationship where there are rules, but only one person really obeys it because the other person is a dick. You know, it, it, it's kind of like, I could sleep with whoever I want, but you're not allowed to sleep with anybody. It's just like, no, you can sleep with whoever the fuck it is you want to. Like, you can't just expect somebody to be faithful, and you not be faithful. Like, that doesn't make any sense, you know? And that person has yet to figure that out with the hermit card. You know? Uh, yet they're not communicating or speaking or doing anything of substance trying to um, reach out or discover what it is that would lead them to the light out of this devil situation. No, they just decide, you know, like, um, we're too different. We're too different. We're too different. When in reality, it, it was kind of faded. Queerant. That someone kind of becomes, like, addicted or a junkie. Someone shows this fate, if you will. That's kind of creepy, but whatever. Anyway. Let's see. Thoughts and feelings. Right? Yeah. Someone left in a real huff. In a real, real huff. Just like, oh, I don't even think they meant to leave as dramatically as they did. Like, they did leave a turtle, yeah, but the way that they might have exited out was like, Parent, you might have been a little bit harsh with it. You might have said some stuff uh, and being like, you know what, your ass is just too big for me to find you fucking attractive anymore. It jiggles too much. You know, just ridiculous shit that somebody would just come out and say to just make you go like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Your ass is bigger than mine, jackass. What are you talking about? Like, they just randomly say weird things that make no sense to you. And you just sit there like, oh, okay. I guess. But... Huh. You know, you can only hate somebody if you love them, right? It's better to love and lost and have never loved at all. Yeah? Okay. Not sure what the fuck that was about. Anyway. Down below in the roots of the thoughts and feelings. Someone feels like they got fucked up and everything is dead. Everything they tried to accomplish is dead. They weren't paying attention to where they were walking with their sneakiness and their traps. Hear it? Okay. The vibration over here. You know. Someone had their eye on the prize. Someone was looking for their options. But they went about it in a really fucked up way to the point where like someone's gonna have to cast some justice on that ass. Uh, however, this person might go through some hoops and bounds and shit, you know, like. 
They might escape for a minute, I feel like, but it won't be for long. All right, what's coming up next for y'all, my dear Clarence? Knight of Pentacles, someone moving slowly with an offer. You know, that with a world that's all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Who the fuck is going to uh, answer? Who? Wait, what? Someone is slowly but surely offering a fucked up world. Okay, well, you know, whatever. Kurt, I don't think this is you offering this fucked up world, but I think it's someone you're dealing with offering you something fucked up, which I think that you don't want to deal with anymore. You know, um, they want to be victorious if they can't get over the bullshit that's come about with the Five of Cups, right? Mourning it right. And they got their back turned because they're childish about what they think and believe to be correct. You know. I don't think this is you at all, Quirin, who is trying to offer up some bullshit at all. I think you're dealing with the person who's offering you bullshit right now. I think you've been a little bit lax with your boundaries when it comes to the person you've been dealing with more than anything. Like I don't think you're I don't think you're doing anything fucked up at all. I think you trusted somebody and they just keep Towing the line a little more to see if you're paying attention so they can scoot the edge a little bit better. Be like, no, 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 this is my edge. I can go this far. I can go this far. It's like, hmm. I don't think this is you at all, Kurt. Yeah, like, this will leave you, like, trapped a little bit, you know, on the ceiling, suffering more. Because this person demands a lot out of you, you know? You understand, also, I feel like that, like, this sun card with either Leo or Gemini... Y'all ain't a pair, and it, it just doesn't work out between you two. Definitely clarity involved. You recognize this. You know, and you are feeling very secure in knowing this as well. Which is why you have your back turned, and you're acting like a bitter bitch. It's just like, I can't believe I wasted my time with this shit. You know, that kind of thing, right? And then the moon down here. People feeling like their emotions had them playing on strings, right? Feeling like all those dreams that they have were nothing but. In fact, there was no accomplishment. It was just something that would never come to be. You know? Sitting there waiting for fruit to produce and it never fucking did. It just kept growing and then it rot. You know? Leaving you feeling like you're stuck on the inside. Um, hoping and wishing for someone to come back to you, Quirin. I feel like you were really trying to make things work. I think you really were. And whoever it is you're dealing with is kind of dumb. I'm just saying. You, know. you gotta dump those emotions, chief. Because this ain't it. You know. Find some woodland gnomes and give to them, you know. Because they'll treat you better than what you've been through. This person might, I mean, like, if you gotta shoot shit down in order to keep things from changing to something horrible, so be it, you know. Because there's no reason to keep making excuses for why you shouldn't start something new. Yeah, there are people around with different wounds than you, but it doesn't mean they're always going to be on your side or even your enemies. Because this shit could linger in you, and you gotta learn to embrace what may come. Fuck it, you know? You only live once. Alright, last cards, and then we are done, y'all. You know, take the time to look at your emotions and realize, you know, it's just a dead fish in the cup. It's not the end of the world. You have an entire empire of water you fill your cup with. It's just one fish. You will get bigger fish with your cup, you know. Take the time to actually sit there and delegate with people. And try to have a discussion after conflict a little bit, you know. If you, if you can acknowledge that it's just a dead fish, it's easier to um, have a discussion with people, right? And that will give you directions on how to move forward, Quirant. I have to say, like, I, I feel for you, man, but I'm glad you're starting to make some progress. Or at least get to this point of realizing that whatever position you've been in isn't healthy for you and you need to move on from it. It just takes a little bit of time. That's all. But, that's to read, everybody, so I will see you later.
if y'all enjoyed, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz, right? I'm going to go. You all be fresh and tasty. I love your faces. Bye-bye.